friends, today we're just doing a little fun, silly, goofy video where I'm going to be taking a bunch of Nancy Drew personality quizzes to psychoanalyze myself and figure out what's really going on with me. <laughs> what is really wrong with me? But I thought this would be a really fun idea for us all to participate in. I'm going to link every quiz that I take in this video in the description so that you can take it yourself and uh, show me your answers in the comments so I can psychologically profile my viewers. <laughs> It'll be fun! <laughs> the first quiz I'm looking at is on the site GoToQuiz and it's created by Trisha Trisha? Try <laughs> Trisha Gorav, and it's which Nancy Drew game would you be in? Please just don't let me be White Wolf Bicycle Creek. <laughs> Any other one and I'll be happy. Question one, what's your favorite animal? If none of these, please pick one anyway. Wolf, alligator, iguana, parrot, dog, cat, horse, cow. These are a lot of options. It's between cat and horse, and my cat is sitting right here, and I feel like it would be a betrayal of him to click horse. Where would you like to visit? Please don't pick where you already live. Florida, New York, California, New Orleans, Maine, Colorado, Italy, or anywhere in Louisiana. Um, <laughs> this is fortunate. I don't live in any of these places, so it'll be easy pick. New Orleans is like one of the cities that's like on the top of my bucket list in terms of travel. Colorado is also really high up there. I think I'm gonna go with New Orleans though, because that's more specific, and I feel like there's more things to do in New Orleans than Colorado. What's your favorite movie genre? Western, comedy, romance, action, thriller, crime, slash drama, or suspense? Oh my god, buddy. <laughs> you just moved my light. I'm gonna say thriller, probably. I like a good suspenseful movie. I'm a gone girly. <laughs> Oh, what kind of weather do you like? Sunny, cloudy, stormy, or snowy? I do like snowy, but ultimately I'm gonna say sunny because I just have such a sunny personality. <laughs> What's your favorite time of day? Dusk, afternoon, evening, night, or dawn? Um, afternoon, I think. I, I would have said morning, even though I'm not really a morning person. I'm one of those people who would sleep for like hours if you let me. Like it, on my day offs, it's like rare that I see a morning, but I do like being up in the morning. What's your hobby? Horse riding, reading, exploring the outdoors, watching movies, acting, kayaking, bird watching, or studying. If your hobby is studying, I'm sorry to say this, but get a life. Get a better hobby. <laughs> I wish I could say it was horse riding or exploring the outdoors, but it's actually, it's reading. I'm a nerd. It's fine. <laughs> I've embraced it. What would you rather stay in? A school, a college, an old-fashioned theater, a castle, a ski resort, a museum, a ranch, or a boat? Well, it's gotta be a ranch. What's your favorite type of mystery? Murder? No, it's murder. <laughs> What's your favorite Nancy Drew game? Oh, this is a this is a little like nice gimme for them. They're like, we'll nudge you closer to being in your favorite Nancy Drew game. Because this isn't just like what Nancy Drew game are you? It's what Nancy Drew game would you be in? Like which would you inhabit? Which I think is an awesome concept for a quiz. Obviously, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Okay. Submitting my answers. Let's see. Secret of the Old Clock. You would be in Secret of the Old Clock. You would live in 1930s in Titusville and help solve Emily and Jane solve the mystery of the fire? Like the kitchen fire? I didn't think that was the, the main mystery of this game. And you don't really help J Jane solve the mystery. I feel like it's been a while since this person played Secret of the Old Clock. That's fine though. Um, Secret of the Old Clock. I really do like that game, but not sure how I feel about living in the 1930s and having a lot of my rights being taken away from me. But you know what? I feel like the idealized 1930s that's in the Nancy Drew game <laughs> wouldn't be so bad. Okay, and we had to have at least one BuzzFeed <laughs> quiz on here because it's kind of. Uh, mandatory if you're talking about personality quizzes but this one is which nancy drew character are you 
Um, it's time to solve this mystery once and for all by Hannah Billups. Question one, what do you do with your spare time? Something outdoors, shopping, hang out with my family and friends, hang out with girlfriend slash boyfriend, make or read comics, explore historic sites, research something cool, have fun with family and friends. Wait, that's very similar to, wait, that's, wait, what's the difference between hanging out with your family and friends and having fun with your family and friends? I hang out with my family and friends, but we do not have fun. <laughs> researching something cool, I might say, because um, for a lot of uh, like my videos, I end up researching stuff and I find it interesting. Um, or having fun with my family and friends. Uh, yeah, I think actually that's probably more accurate. What's your favorite food? Chocolate fudge sundae, cheeseburger, <laughs> fried chicken, something healthy, not that one, pizza, cocoa, kringles, anything homemade, anything my aunt and mom make, um, specific. Oh my god, I love so many of these things. I think the only thing I don't like is something healthy. <laughs> I think pizza, when it comes down to it. I think I'd pick pizza first. Pizza is my one true love. That's very, like, 2012 tumblr of me where would your dream vacation be somewhere with tons of history a city with a ton of great food and shopping somewhere with tons of outdoor activities anywhere as long as it's with family and friends somewhere intriguing london <laughs> new zealand anywhere as long as i spend time with my girlfriend slash boyfriend um some of these are very specific and some of these are incredibly vague somewhere intriguing like what <laughs> that can, can encompass any place you know what somewhere intriguing because i'm intrigued by that answer what would you do when you get a chance to solve a mystery say yes and grab my friends say yes and grab my siblings consider it then say yes say no too scary recommend your friend and offer to help get someone else to do it say no but recommend someone i know uh, get your significant other to help to solve it and help them um Again, a lot of these, like, ones are very similar, and I also feel like this quiz doesn't quite know its audience, because any Nancy Drew fan I know is constantly being, sign me up for a mystery. Like, I don't think there's anyone in the Nancy Drew fan who'd be like, mystery? No, 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 I don't want to do that. How would you solve a mystery? With lots of hints, help, <laughs> friends, and dessert. <laughs> I like that find clues fix technical stuff and with my friends tag team with siblings and find the villains asap in my free time with a book or two i wrote <laughs> what what kind of book like how how to solve a mystery the book with clues questions and help from family slash friends get someone else to do the dirty work and solve it help my girlfriend says boyfriend when i'm not busy with school with logic clues and my siblings a lot of these are weirdly specific and again sh like share a lot of points. I'm gonna go with the dessert option. I feel like that's admitting a weakness by being like, I need hints and help and I need my friends to do it while well, I eat some pie, but the d dessert is just swaying me. <laughs> what would you do if you are facing the villain? Run and hide, capture him slash her by being funny <laughs> or fighting. Villains are only in my books. Villains don't exist in the real world. Knock him out football style. I don't know what that means. Like tackle? <laughs> tackle them? Freak out? Outsmart him? Figure a way to capture him slash her right there? Use my judo skills. Gosh. <laughs> I would say I would capture him slash her by being funny. But I think it's bold of me to claim that I'm funny. Um, I also would say outsmart him, but maybe bold of me to claim that I'm smart. I think ultimately I want to try to figure out a way to capture him, her right there. It doesn't specify what method you use. It leaves it open. I like that. Let's see. I'm Na I'm Nancy Drew. You are smart, kind, persistent, and always willing to solve a mystery. That's right. While well, always appreciative of hints and the help, you don't necessarily follow other people's advice. I'm unique, I'm an individual. You get into danger, but you somehow get out and sometimes need to use your second chances. <laughs> I wish there were second chances in real life. You enjoy hanging out with your friends and family, helping others out and like spending quality time with your boyfriend, Ned. No, <laughs> no, they've got me wrong there. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, that's why there is the option to hang out 
with family and friends but not have fun. That's like spending time with Ned. You're not having fun because you're with Ned. <laughs> You have solved every mystery you face. Oh, and still have time for your family and friends. I just, I can do it all, babe. Just that good. Wow, I'm feeling really chuffed and confident now. I'm Nancy Drew. Just a massive boost to my confidence. Who needs therapy when you have the Buzzfeed, which Nancy Drew character are you quiz? Now we go to you quiz. Um, kind of the best spot for fan-made personality quizzes in my opinion. A lot of them are very specific and niche and fun. I feel like usually they have a really good sense of humor. The first one we're going to be taking is Wishy Nancy Drew game character Would You Be by 186 Fleet Street. Enter your name, Chloe. I should actually I should put a Nancy Drew because I am Nancy Drew. Buzzfeed told me so. Pick your least favorite game. Okay, I'm not gonna read out all these options because I think this is like all, <laughs> all the games. What's my least favorite game? I don't I don't actually need to think about it. It's the deadly device. <laughs> Pick a hobby slash job. Behind the scenes in theater slash TV slash film. Spy. Whale watching. DJ. <laughs> I'm not into DJ. Banking reels, acting, working at a music park, mayor, storytelling, running a festival, political activism, cosplaying, student council, gardening, tour guide, hunting, video game design, studying, again, get a better hobby if that's your hobby, treasure hunting, art, intern, swimming, police, cooking, fashion, web design, running a household. That's not a hobby. International politics, owning a business, music detective, lawyer, antique dealer, partying, owning a store, planning a wedding, bird watching, shopping, hanging out at a diner, board, rate, board games, mechanics, sun bathing, running a museum, fishing, archaeology. I'm like, <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> Judge, scavenger hunts, art dealer, running a hotel, ghost hunting, fangirling, writing, working on a ranch, medicine, playing in the snow, carpentry, science, going to state parks, traveling sports, working at a diner. Different from hanging out at a diner, I guess. Secret society, scuba diving, pranks, sailing, teaching, surfing, flying, gossip, journalism, reality TV, martial arts, and photography. My goodness, there are a lot of options. I feel like there's so much like fun and interesting options and I'm just gonna be boring and choose what I actually do, which is writing. Should I be metagaming this quiz and thinking like, which character do I want to be? Like, should I be picking working on a ranch because I want to be Dave? Also, like, is there like every Nancy Drew character an option in this quiz? <laughs> there are a lot of options. I'm just gonna be honest. It's better to be honest. I mean, it, I honestly, I would like to work on a ranch, but I don't think I'm built for it fundamentally so writing it is pick a location okay okay it's like all the locations from the game <laughs> oh i'm just the american west yes <laughs> give me that ranch life please pick a location number two town square a school a cabin a theater an amusement park a campsite a train station an apartment a castle a ranch a graveyard a science lab a train a cave a windmill a house a hotel a jungle a police station a club a diner an office an abandoned building a museum a courthouse a hospital a tv studio a mansion a boat a ski resort a spy headquarters a bank a beach resort an archaeological dig and a store how am i to choose there's so many cool options i think i'm gonna have to go with a train i gotta i gotta go with my gut you know that's how we'll get a, a you know a really accurate psychoanalysis here from these nancy drew quizzes I'm Charlena Purcell. I don't know how I feel about this. She She's a writer. I guess it makes sense with the answers I chose, but uh, Charlena Purcell is also a plagiarist and I don't like what that says about me. She's a plagiarizing writer and she has terrible taste in fashion. <laughs> I feel kind of dragged by this quiz right now. <laughs> They're calling me a plagiarist and a fashion criminal to my face. Okay, I want to see what the other options are. Most people got best. Oh, there are- uh, I'm in the 1%. <laughs> the 1%. But there are so many options that I can see why- Oh my god. Mysterious Revenant Caller? Imagine how disappointed you would be if that was your result. Wow, there is like- Is this every character in the game? Oh my god. Incredible. This person put a lot of work into this quiz. Most people got either Bess or Frank or Twain Powers. I mean, it could have been a lot worse for me. The next you quiz is How Would You Die in the Her Interactive Nancy Drew PC Game Universe? It's a trip. I'll warn you. I'm being warned by this quiz. And this is by Tilly Says. A naughty word that I'm not going to say. Whoa. Um, well, obviously my name is Charlena Purcell. I just got told that I am Charlena Purcell. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's start the quiz. Which out of context quote from the games speaks to your soul? Someone move my things. Someone will pay. 
I'm trying to figure out which games these are all from. That would be fun. I think this one is from Deadly Device, actually. I think that's like Mason. Most people, I talk to them one day, next day they are dead. It is an old age thing. I think that's Eustachia and Dropov. I found a quarter, but then it fell into a puddle. I have no idea who that is. Of course it tastes bad. It's a squirrel. I don't know who that is either. You got a steady bag home. That's Dave. And that does speak, speak to my soul because I, well, because I know it's Dave. But I need to take it out of context, you know? And I'm not constantly thinking about whether people have a steady back home. I kind of like this one just for how random it is. I want to know who said this and what game. Which actual business slash organization name from the games is your fave? Topham School for the study and development of paranormal powers, technology of tomorrow today, Krollmeister, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters, had it, or Big Mike's immersion excursions. I wish Our Lady of Route 66 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology was an option because that's what I would pick that or um atac <laughs> or my would be my top two quite honestly but i think had it is honestly the best i love an acronym that they worked backwards from <laughs> if you had to choose one of these off-screen phone characters as your emergency contact who would you choose tino balducci a detective who definitely wears sunglasses at night um, no, I would not trust Tino in emergency. <laughs> Prudence Rutherford, a rich socialite from Kansas. Lynn Manrique, historian studying World War II France. Isn't she dead? <laughs> I don't know if I trust her. <laughs> She's dead. Um, Tink Obermeyer, a carousel operator who enjoys fishing. He'd probably be too busy fishing to respond to an emergency. Or Melina, the curator of a Greek museum. I don't like Melina. And I think she do she actually doesn't cope well in the emergency. I'm gonna say Lynn Manrique, even though she might be dead. And I like Prudence Rutherford, but again, like she's grown up in a life of privilege. What does she know about emergencies? Which of Sunny June's jobs do you think you'd be good at? Reality TV game show host, intern at the Beach Hill Museum, paranormal tours in Salem, intern at Minette's House of Design? No, I would, Minette would make me cry. <laughs> intern at the Monkey Research Center? No, the monkeys would make me cry. I think either the reality TV game show host or paranormal tours sound more fun to me. I think I would be good at that. Telling a story, you know, that's what I like to do. So the question is, can I pick a main character speed run? Joe! Oh my god, that was that was my instinct, apparently. They were also tempting. I was also like, Bess? Nancy? But I went with Joe, apparently. That's gonna say a lot about me in my psychoanalysis. Death Biker never is planned! Yes! Yeah, you got the weirdest one. That's me. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> Let's see the other result options. Most pe other people got death by carnivorous plant. Well, I don't feel very special anymore. Death by scythe, death by minecart, death by martial arts, or death by ghost. All good options. I feel like I got the best one. Which Nancy Drew game culprit are you? By Noelle Fix. Which element do you most identify with? Fire. Got a spicy, fiery, hot personality. I don't really, but I like to think I do. Is it okay to hurt your family or f friends or family to achieve your your goals? No. No, I'm doing this for them. I don't know what, like the goal, goals is kind of vague for me to say I'm doing this for them. Sometimes I'm doing things for myself. No, I try to terrorize other people. You know what? Uh, no, actually, I'm also, I'm, I'm too empathetic. I'm too much of an empath to terrorize other people. What's your ultimate motive? Capitalism, capitalism, but different, destroying capitalism. Revenge, power slash fame, being a gay icon. Just want to be a shitty person. I never want it to happen, not like this. Who the fuck knows? You know what? Who the fuck knows? Like, I would, I would like to be a gay icon, but that's not my ultimate motive. You know, I'm a complex person. I've got many, many motives tucked away inside of me. I'm layered, you know? I guess I'm like Shrek in that way. What's haunting you? Me saying I'm like Shrek one minute ago. What are your thoughts on aliases? Love them, the more the better. I like operating under a fake name, but only one. I want it to be as real as my personal identity. I'll use them if I need to, but ultimately I want the glory. Who needs an alias if you don't get caught? Huh, I've never given this any thought. I'll say only one. I feel like that's me with my like internet persona, you know? I'm Chloe, but I'm also 
Snuggly. Oh, Taylor Swift lyric. It wouldn't be a you quiz without a lyric question. I'm Minette. <laughs> okay, fashion icon, you're totally rude. You were caught between a rock and a hard place and had to make a decision. Instead of trying to help yourself, your learned helplessness kept you in place and made you a villain. Learn to ask for help. Get therapy. Therapy and don't commit treason, babe. I don't like what these results have been saying about me, except for the Nancy Drew one. Can we go back to BuzzFeed, please? <laughs> like, I'm a plagiarist, I've also got an incredibly short temper, and I am have learned helplessness. I, I don't feel good about that, but I guess, I mean, if, if it's, like, all the culprits, it, there was never going to be a good answer, <laughs> to be fair. I think Minette's one of the best, but also we've got a kind of... A contradiction now because Charlena Purcell is arguably one of the worst dressed Nancy Drew characters and Minette of course is a fashion icon so what does that say about me that inherently I am a contradiction or just that some outfits I wear are cute and some are not <laughs> maybe that most people got Joseph Interesting. I'm scared about a bunch of Josephs running wild. Which Nancy Drew game are you? Different from which Nancy Drew game would you be in? And yes, it is I, Minette. By Geekula, by the way. Pick a universal monster. Frankenstein, Dracula, the mummy, the creature from the Black, La Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, the Invisible Man, or the Phantom of the Opera. Dracula, of course. <laughs> Pick a portrayal of Nancy, Pamela Sue Martin, Tracy Ryan, Emma Roberts, Benita Granville, Sophia Lillis, or Kennedy McMahon. I'm picking Tracy Ryan. This is an unexpected, perhaps unpopular choice, but uh, she made Nancy Drew hot, you know? When I first saw a picture of Tracy Ryan, I was like, she's playing Nancy? Ma'am. Did you at one time think Carolyn Keene was a real person who wrote all the Nancy Drew books? Yes, because I was 10 years old when I first started reading them. I have an excuse. I was a child. I feel like everyone would think that because they don't make it super explicit. Choose a special interest I had from ages 8 to 14. Sharks, horses, neopets, vocaloids. I don't know what those are. Ghosts? How am I supposed to choose between horses, neopets, and ghosts? the most impossible decision. Will I even be able to complete this quiz? You know, I'm gonna say Neopets because that was also a special interest I had in that age. You know what, I still occasionally go on Neopets and then there's a security leak and all my information is leaked to hackers. <laughs> But I still have fond memories of Neopets. How do you feel about Big Island Mike? This will not affect your chances of getting Creature of Cabin Cave. King! I <laughs> love Big Island Mike. If you're a Big Island Mike auntie, don't interact. Finally pick a candy. It's... I hate to say it, but it's gotta be the other <laughs> I'm utterly ashamed by this choice. Warnings at Waverly Academy. Great, iconic, cozy, beautiful, outstanding, wonderful. I'm much more pleased with this choice. Although, again, like if we're talking about personality analysis terms, like what does this say about me? That I've got an inherent innate bitterness and pettiness and a, a toxic love for gossip. That doesn't sound necessarily great, but it, I am cozy, beautiful, outstanding, wonderful. I'll take it. Now we have the Nancy Drew PC game Taste in Women Assessment by Geekula. Choose a main squeeze. Oh, how, how do I do it? How do I do it? Oh, this quiz is already too hard. There's 29 questions. How am I going to get through it? I love all of them. Oh, I think, I think, I really love Deirdre. And of course I love George. I think I, sorry George, but I love you a little less than the other two. I really love Deirdre, but Bess I relate to on a, like a deeply personal level. So I think I will choose Bess. I feel like at, at heart, I am kind of Bess. Like I, I would love to be Nancy, but I think I'm Bess. <laughs> And I can admit that about myself. And you know what? I don't feel bad about it. Bess is awesome. I love Bess. Pick a drama queen. Oh no, not that picture. Oh, Lillian Cyber Sexual Weiss. I do plan to make a video on 
where this image came from at some point. <laughs> the origins of that image, but we won't get into it that now. Cardigan that says, I'm recently divorced, or Cat Lady Goals. It's Millie. It's gotta be Millie. I do also love Lillian and Maddie, though. Choose a lady, you all lesbian or Tumblr witch. Sorry, Rose. It's Abby. Choose your- oh my god. I'm always a slut chicken fingers and world's worst diamond thief damn doing lisa a little dirty with that one she came prepared with her spicy devil villain venom like she was prepared at least <laughs> but hotchkiss is one of my ultimate favorite nancy drew characters like one of my favorite characters of all time i just love her so much i wish she was my grandmother i wish i was her even the unhinged one Baby girl, I'm so sorry. Or queen of unethical marketing. I'm not gonna pick Simone, thanks. The only visible women in their respective games. <laughs> Capital Rider. <gasps> Tiny arms could kick the shit out of you. You know what? I don't think Joanna Riggs could kick the shit out of me. I think Connie could kick the shit out of me. I could take Joanna Riggs in a fight, okay? S come here and s try to semper ubi my sabubi, Joanna. You just, you try it. I'm picking Connie. Crystal healer or honey, what the fuck are you wearing? I'm picking Ingrid. Don't at me, top or bottom. And they're in the same relationship, you know? They, they're the top to the other's bottom. Katie Firestone kind of annoys me at times. <laughs> I'm picking Jenna. And she's a lady who makes like a mean clam chowder. They say the way to someone's heart is through their stomach, and yes, that's true. <laughs> Jane isn't here because she's 12. That's fair. Werewolf with acrylics. Does anyone have any goddamn weed or sleep paralysis demon? It's Ethel. Women have depression. This bitch or Ricky? <laughs> Bait. Oh my god, see what I mean? You quiz um, creators are just like on a different level. Like, I aspire to be as funny as you quiz creators. Big a lady, Paris Hilton, alien disguise, your old timey prospector is gender non conforming as fuck. Oh gosh, how do I choose? I mean, I probably have to choose myself, but I'm also like, Lori's just iconic. I'm sorry. I guess I'm in denial about who I am, because I'm not gonna pick Charlena Purcell, even though I apparently am Charlena Purcell. My wife, this girl's like 14, look at her, tits. Okay, again, I was Minette, but I love JJ Ling. Again, the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. Cree, but without Big Island Mike. I don't like Quigley. She's got a bit of an attitude, and this is so shallow of me, but... Her voice very much bothers me. Um, I think, like, Pua is, like, the ultimate early 2000s cool girl. Like, she's just, like, she doesn't even try and she's just cool. She would be, like, the character in a Disney Channel original movie that the female protagonist is jealous of, you know? The only visible woman in their respective games. We've got your mom's friend who tags you in beta posts on Facebook. Absolute queen. Ah, a uh, beautiful woman deserves a raise. Um, I don't know. I, I actually, I don't like Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone in that game is a little bitch. Uh, obviously Mary Yossi. Cougar. Starting a crime family is easier than finding a paid internship. <laughs> she's right and she should say it. How are you? How are you? Oh my god. Me when my professor tells everyone to turn on the cameras and zoom. My face when my boyfriend falls in a hole. I'm going with Kyler. Imposter George or pretty cute for being held captive for days. Well, I picked best before, so I feel like I should choose George now, to be fair. Your dark academia girlfriend, cat girl, gossip girl, has a hot topic credit card, sports lesbian, or Sack and Cody. Controversial, but I'm picking Izzy. I don't know, there's just something, some like je ne sais quoi about her, and you know she'd say that. You, she's like pretentious, she's bitchy, um, she is like hot and she knows it. I just admire her a lot. I love her a little best. 
A whole family to choose from. Get the fuck out of my reckon before I kick your ass. Angelic pretty band ambassador. Wake me when she's done talking mood. Guys, it's so fucked up. I've got, got this picture of the death mask robot from Kasumi's wiki page. Oh no. Hi, Yumi. Cleavage or diabetic coma. Um, Anya's a girl boss. Yeah. More cleavage. We'll house it for you while you're in jail. Massey Block Kinney. I don't know who Massey Block is. Sarah Palin looking bitch. It's true. Saw a gone girl once. Deirdre. Because again, I didn't pick her before, so I'm obligated to now. Toon Babies. Nancy collects girls with dead moms like Pokemon cards, assisting in a legal smuggling operation to pay my student loans. Um, again, I don't like Jamila, so I'm picking Lily. Committing more crimes to pay my student loans. The love child of Knives Chow and Ramona Flowers. You know, I'm a hipster, but I'm not hipster enough to choose Ryan. It's uh, Ellie. Generational trauma the game. Lara Croft after finalizing her divorce. Tim Burton's next muse. Milf, your carbon monoxide hallucination. This creator's reads of all these characters are like spot on. It's gotta be your carbon monoxide hallucination. Just iconic. We get it. Black Swan was a formative film for you. Your recently divorced aunt. Let's go with Samantha. Ned. Derogatory. <laughs> Sports lesbian. Cutest woman I've ever seen. Obviously, I'm not choosing either of these bitches. No. I'm getting more sassy and cussing more. I'm Because I'm absorbing these you quizzes. But not in like a way that makes me funnier or cleverer. It's just making me sassier and swearier most expensive and yet understaffed theater production yes that's what i'm saying look at this sexy headshot holy shit well she can act and forge art um obviously xenia the one with the snow you know the one canon lesbian yes the mid midnight midnight haven't played it yet <laughs> it's gotta be deirdre it's gotta be deirdre again it's gotta be deirdre deirdre my love queens only all women are queens but you have excellent taste in said queens thank you oh i could have got a gay girls enthusiast i missed that <laughs> thank god i didn't get bizarre or old lady lover or boring but okay <laughs> you know i feel like that she's this quiz is saying that i have good taste and i i like that i like quizzes that make me feel better about myself <laughs> what inconsequential thing from the nancy drew games that infuriates me are you sometimes liberties they take are just a lot for me to suspend my disbelief over fair enough sarah stroh choose one of nefertari's titles lady of grace great royal wife wife of the strong bull the one for whom the sun shines, great of praises, sweet of love, the king's beloved, the one for whom the sun shines. If someone called me that, I'd be like, you're in love with me. Like, you're, you're putting me on a pedestal and I like it. I definitely am not picking one of the ones that just gives her a title that relates her to her husband. No. Tag yourself what resident of the graveyard of Chris in Crystal Skull are you? Oh my god, I've been waiting for this question my whole life. I'm polyester Givens. Thank you for asking. A jaunty little clover coins instead of euros. Ireland uses euros. It is a country with a currency. It is not a fun little fantasy land that uses charming little clover coins. I feel like you can make this argument for a lot of Nancy Drew games. I don't know what that says about me though. I'm trying to psychoanalyze myself here. What does this say about me? That I'm a phony? That I'm a fraud? That I don't do enough research? That I make assumptions? <laughs> <laughs> that I'm like romanticizing things unfairly. But luckily, lots of other people are the same. What are the other options? Characters in foreign countries talking in English in private conversations. People referring to tract as a costume. I don't know what's that ref that's referring to. The Anunnaki, yes. Sewer systems in Venice. Oh yeah, <laughs> just about every archaeological practice being gleefully ignored. Waverly's a full ride scholarship to a college of your choice. I mean, that's aspirational though. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? Which Nancy Drew Dilf is right for you? By Link. What's your type when it comes to men? Someone who's got a little mystery about them? Funny, friendly, and non-threatening? Looks above all else. I'm looking for an absolute smoke show. Someone who's open, caring, and kind? I'm not attracted to men. Hmm, my real type is men who look like they're not afraid to cry, but... Ooh, it's either funny, friendly, and non-threatening, or someone who is open, caring, and kind. Can't they be both? I'll go with funny and friendly. Oh, but open, caring, and kind is probably better in the long run. Yeah. What's your ideal first date with your DILF? Something outdoors, maybe hike or camping. 
Um, I would say just a, a piece of advice. Never go on a first date with someone that is out of reach of cell service and not easily reachable and in an isolated location where there are no other people. Bad call. <laughs> um, nice dinner together, maybe a movie, going to the fair? Something that's my heart racing like a movie, horror movie or an amusement park. The fair sounds so fun. Yeah, I think that'd be a great first date. Come on, Bill Kessler. <laughs> Let's go to the fair. <laughs> Let's get some cotton candy. I'm really hoping I get Bill Kessler. How do you feel if I told you that Big Island Mike was one of the possible results? I always question what is wrong with you. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. I mean, I guess he is technically a father. Big Island Mike, my beloved. I mean, I love Big Island Mike, but not in that way. <laughs> He's technically a father. What's my results? <laughs> no. I'm gonna make a weird guess right now and say that every result is Big Island Mike. I w I'm like praying this is like a troll quiz right now. Mike, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested, man. <laughs> you wake up in paradise spending your days eating mango lime, coconut, shave ice, and collecting shells, fake jewelry. If you're lucky, Big Island Mike will let you trade 50 Big Island bucks for a kid. I mean, they put it that way, it sounds kind of nice. I could just never have any interaction with him if I don't engage in his made-up currency. <laughs> okay, what are the other options? Bill Ke- Why couldn't I have got Bill Kessler? I want to ruffle his little mustache. Carson Drew, Enrico Tatsa, is he a dad? Halt Scotto, ooh, it, again, is he a dad? Tex, is he a dad? Well, I guess they don't- don't all have to be strictly dads. They got Dilfies. Thank God I didn't get this halt. That would have been worse. That would have been a lot worse. Like, I've got a lot to be grateful for, really. This is my favorite Nancy Drew personality quiz. I am forever recommending this to people, and it is Which Ass from the Nancy Drew Games Are You by Paw Pennies and Bento Boxes. I guess I'm Mrs. Big Island Bike, unfortunately. Start quiz. First question, choose a Taylor Swift song. I think there's a real connection between Taylor Swift fans and Nancy Drew fans. Cause this is like the second Taylor Swift like oriented question in these quizzes. And we've only had like one other one that was about music. And usually that's a lot more common thing in the U quiz. Choose a mystery TV show, Murder She Wrote, Monk, Psych, Poirot, Sherlock, or The Mentalist. Poirot, I love Poirot so much. I think it is one of those adaptations that actually ends up being better than the source material. And that's saying a lot for me because I hecking love Agatha Christie books, but Poirot just really brings them to life. Choose a Jonas Brother. I have zero investment in the Jonas Brothers. Okay. Nick, <laughs> there we go. Choose some song lyrics. Risky, risky, wiggy, wiggy. Uh, I like shiny things, but I've married you in paper rings. Teenagers scare the living shit out of me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Hakuna Matata. My heart is like a stallion. They love it more when it's broken. Na, 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 na. Um, I'm picking this one just because it mentions a horse. <laughs> and I love horses. If you didn't know, I'm a bit of an aspiring horse girl. <laughs> Choose an actual BuzzFeed quiz. We know when you'll get engaged based on your Chipotle order. How bro are you? Are you turning into a cat? Your pizza options will reveal how many children you'll have? Yes, of course. BuzzFeed knows that. What kind of person are you really? What kind of bean are you? A lot of good options. There's not which Nancy Drew character are you? They've missed the best one. Are you turning into a cat? Pick some Nancy Drew food. I love these questions. Cheeseburger, mint chocolate cookies, quesadilla with paprika, jammy dodgers, gumbo or lilac in pie. A lot of them I would love, but I love me a cheeseburger. Like I say, I'm a Joe girl and I relate to a lot of things about Joe, including his love of cheeseburgers. Joe Hardy, if you're watching this, call me. We're going, we'll go on a cheeseburger date. It'll be great, trust me. Choose a death in the games. Oh, obviously being eaten by a plant. I mean, I'd probably choose that anyway, but we know that that is me. I am being eaten by a plant, not literally. <laughs> oh yes, I'm Nick's ass. 
He's got the best butt. I was hoping for this result. You are gently rounded, but your ass isn't your main focus in life. Oh yeah, I've got depth. You have a bigger purpose, but seriously though, those shorts aren't it. That is fair. I, you know what? I think this is a good final result. I would have been devastated if I got, say, a Grigger's ass <laughs> or Shorty's ass. But no, I got a beautiful, rounded, sculpted butt. And I feel like, yeah, that says, that says some good things about me. I am a well-rounded person. The other option's Monique's ass. Oh, the vendor from Danger by Design. Yeah, yeah. Yanni's. Yeah, yeah. Carson's. <laughs> a non existent ass. An ass that doesn't exist on this plane of existence. I'm surprised Elliot's ass wasn't an option. I think that there should be a sequel to this quiz. Maybe we'll get some more butt fan service in Nancy Drew game 34. I will be putting all the quizzes in the description. I would love to know your results. If you tell me no other result, I want to know which ass you are.